What's going on guys, Switchbrew here and welcome back to the fourth and final episode of the PK Hex series. So guys, what we're going to be doing today in this video is I'm going to be showing you how to edit the current Pokemon that you've got in the game and also add new Pokemon. So the first thing you'll want to do is open the PK Hex software. Once you've opened the PK Hex software, what you want to do is go to File, Open and then open the current game save that you're working on so for me it's this one here once that's open guys what you, I'm going to do is go ahead and go over to party and as you can see I've got two Pokemon here at the moment I've got a Skelleridge and a Azrael now I'm going to be editing the Azrael so what I'm going to do is grab that and drag it over here as you can see right now this has got a green tick next to it and says valid and any Pokemon which you add to the game or you're editing before reassigning your game save back to your Nintendo Switch, every Pokemon needs to have a green tick and say valid next to it. So guys, to edit a current Pokemon which you have in the game, for example, mine right now is level 20. If I want to edit that, what I'm going to do is change that to 50. And as you can see, this automatically changes the experience value automatically. There's many other settings that you can change within the software. You've got Met, so you can change where the you know you can't touch this really, but obviously, like it says, this the origin game it's Scarlet Battle version. Always leave that as none. The location where the actual Pokemon was originally caught, the ball that was used. This can be changed to a certain extent, but pretty much with all these statistics down here, I leave alone. Once you've completed editing your Pokemon, like I said, I've set mine to level 50 i'm going to go to file export sav destination i'm going to leave as desktop and click save because this is where my game save is already located it's going to ask me to replace it i'm just going to go ahead and click yes so guys now that's done um that's basically how you edit a current pokemon that you've got on the game like i said there's many other options you can change however I don't tend to mess about with them because I don't know enough about the program and how it works yet. So what we're going to do now, guys, is move on to how to add a Pokemon to the game and ensuring that you've got this valid check before reassigning your game save. What's going on, guys? So in this part of the video now, I'm going to be showing you how to add a Pokemon that you don't already have to your Pokemon game of choice. So the first thing that you'll want to do is open PK Hex. Once you've opened PK Hex, you want to go ahead and go to File, Open, and choose your current game save. And just so you can see, guys, if I go over to Party, we've got the Skelleridge at level 100 as previous, and the Azrael what we changed to at level 50. Now, to get a Pokemon of your choice into the game, the first thing you want to do is head over to this website here. Once you're at this website, you want to go into the Team Builder section, click New Team, and Add Pokemon. Once you're in here, what you want to do is choose a Pokemon of your choice. I'm going to choose a Charizard click on that so once you've chosen your Pokemon what you can do is you can go into the detail section uh, you've got the level here so I'm going to change mine to level 50 as an example I'm going to change the gender to male where it says shiny I'm going to click yes and I'm going to leave the Terra type as fire now you can add an item to the Pokemon so that when you go back into your game it's got an, an item attached to it a specific item but I'm going to leave that for now I'm just going to head straight over to the move section and this is where you can choose the moves for the Pokemon. So obviously for this, if a Chirizard is a fire Pokemon as you well know, so you can't be adding things like, I don't know, for example, water gun to a Chirizard because once taking that into PK Hex, you will have an invalid Pokemon and you won't be able to assign it back to your game save. So I'm just going to add some fire moves to my Pokemon right now. So I'm going to add fire blast, fire fang, fire punch and flamethrower. Once I've completed that, guys, it'll come to the stat section. This is where your EVs and IVs are. I'm not too clued up on these yet, and I need to do some, a bit more research to figure out what's going on. So I'm going to leave those for now. Once I've done, guys, or once you've done as well, you want to go to the import slash export section. Once you've come to this section here, what you want to do is right click and press copy on the following text. 
once you've done that you can head back to pk hex now in episode three i talked about a plugin that can be added to pk hex what's going to help out us out so what you want to do is go to tools auto legality mod import with auto legality mod and as you can see guys the information from that website has now been brought over to the pk hex software so what you want to do is go ahead and click yes and as you can see we've got a valid check next to charizard and it's ready to go so what you want to do then is grab that from here and put it over into your party that's now been added to your party guys so what you can just go ahead and do is click file export sav i'm going to override the one on my desktop and click yes once that's done guys you can close out of the software and what i'm going to do now is transfer over onto the switch to show you guys what's going on so guys once you're back on your nintendo switch console you will need to transfer your game save back to the console with edison i'm not going to show you that in this video because i've already covered it previously so what you want to go ahead and do is start up your game of choice so i'm going to start mine up now and sign into my account so guys we're going to let this load if it's going to take a while what i'll do is fast forward the video so you're not waiting for ages So guys, once you're back into the game, what I'm going to do is go ahead and click X. And if I go down here now, as you can see, if I check the summary on the Charizard, there you go. We have now got a shiny Charizard in the game. So guys, I'd like to thank you for watching the PK Hex series video. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any issues you can message me in the comments or on discord and i'll try and help you the best i can i'm going to do some more research on how the evs and ivs work but that's it for the series guys thanks for watching and peace out